Hi, it's Joe at Red's Fly Shop. So my goal for this year is to do a lot more wade fishing and if I'm gonna be spontaneous and be able to just head out whenever I feel like it, I've gotta be organized uh, and prepared. So I went uh, through my kit bag uh, or my lumbar pack, I guess you'd call it. This is the Fish Pond uh, Thunderhead Lumbar. You can see a full review of this on our channel. Uh, at some point, you can go back and look at that. In fact, I'll put a link in the video description. So the number one thing with organizing your bag like this is definitely gonna be flies. And uh, first I'll give you a look down inside the bag and show you how these boxes organized, then I'll show you what boxes I've got. So down inside here, I've got this divider system. So there's actually like segmented uh, compartments in there. And I've got uh, these tacky original boxes kind of the OG tacky box right there. And then I've got a couple of tacky uh, pescadors uh, over there. And so they stay nice and neat uh, and organized in there and they're very slim. So I can get a lot of fly boxes and flies uh, inside my waiting pack. The only thing that I have left to do to those things is I do need to get like a label maker or something and put them on there so that when I glance down, I can see what's in this box. So, uh, the boxes I have, here's how I have my boxes uh, sorted and I'll pick out, uh, say, a favorite fly from each individual box. Uh, the first is gonna be one of these uh, tacky OGs and these are all my stonefly nymphs. It's a little emaciated right now. I need to fill in some of the blanks uh, with some stonefly nymphs, but picking one out from there would be a Jiggy Pats uh, stonefly nymph. The next box is gonna be my micro streamers. So again, it fits in this nice slim line, tacky OG. And uh, I like these boxes because they have magnetic closure uh, and I can see in there, very, very handy and very, very slim again. So uh, I've got my micro streamers in there. These are all my little itty bitty streamers. Uh, I might use them for my Euro nymphing rig or they might be just small leech patterns that I would fish uh, on a sink tip. But uh, if I had to choose one from in here, it's probably gonna be the soccer bomb. Uh, I really like that one with the rabbit strip tail, a jig head, uh, but that's gonna be a real soccer bomb. And I'll put a link to that one in the video description too, as far as micro streamers go. Uh, the next box is gonna be, uh, I can't remember the name of it. I actually just got this box. Okay, so this is the original river mag uh, from Fish Pond. And I've been really having a tough time trying to figure out how to store all my little itty bitties, my zebra midge, my tiny pheasant tails, my, you know, everything from a size 20 to a 16, but that magnet is seriously strong. So those are just laid in there and you can see that those flies are not going anywhere. And then the box has magnetic closure and then those uh, dividers meet really tight right there. So. I think that I'm gonna have pretty good luck in not having those flies mix compartments and stay put. And then with the little tiny flies, like, like the zebra midge right there, for instance, uh, I can actually see what's in there from sizes uh, and the different colors that are in there. So that, that's the river mag, that's for my little itty bitty, tiny, tiny bugs uh, right there. And then uh, I've got my Euro nymph box, well, my nymph box, those are all my tungsten jig heads uh, and my weighted bead head nymphs are in there. And I've got a few, uh, a few flies to pull out of there or to put in there and build it up a little bit. Uh, choosing one, one favorite, if I had to choose one fly out of here, it's probably gonna be that Duracell uh, with the CDC hackle on it right there, that purple bodied one. So yeah, that's my bead head nymph box. And then moving on, uh, I'm, I've got these tacky pescador boxes. These ones are both new to me. And uh, yeah, that's the standard pescador, not the large. It can get a little bit confusing, but it's a double-sided box. And that's my terrestrial box right there. So it's double-sided, has pretty good capacity. One thing you wanna be aware of is um, it's a waterproof box. It's got a nice gasket that seals right there, but you gotta make sure and shut it all the way and I kind of jam mine a little too full. It's, I just stuffed this box full because I'm about to go on a big hopper and beetle fishing excursion. And so mine's just kind of opening up a little bit just because I jammed it a little bit too full of giant hoppers. But I think that'll pack down over time. But I, I like that box so far. Quite a bit of capacity in there. And uh, 
And then I've got another, I got the other color because I don't want to get them mixed up, but I will label them eventually. But I've got the orange tacky pescador uh, and that's got my, my streamers in there. And uh, yeah, so those are my, my larger, more heavily weighted streamers. And if I had to choose one out of here, I'm probably going with a meat sweats. I just like the, the way it's weighted. Uh, well, I like that it catches fish, but I like the way it's weighted and always rides hook up. So I can run that thing really slow and low and uh, not really be uh, in danger of, of doing any snagging. Yes, yeah, so those are my fly boxes. And then I wanna choose one out of here. Uh, this next week I'm going, I'm going beetle fishing and uh, my favorite beetles, that Rio's ground beetle. Um, you can see there's a lot of those in there. And I just love that beetle pattern. Um, that is my absolute favorite um, as far as a beetle terrestrial goes. So that would be my favorite in there. And then uh, in the little itty bitty box, I realized uh, afterwards I didn't mention what would be maybe my top pick for that one. But I'm probably picking that zebra midge. I, I just, I catch more fish, especially in the winter time on just a black zebra midge. Uh, than I would say uh, any of the others. Other than that, I've just got the basic basic stuff. I've got tapered leaders. I've got a couple of different kinds of tippet, uh, 2X, 3X, 4X. Where I'm headed next, I don't really need any light tippet, uh, but I've got standard and mono. I've got some floating, a little bit of cider material in the event I want to use a Euro rig. And then I... I have started keeping a lot of tapered leaders of different kind of shapes and builds. I just find that makes such good use of my time rather than having to rebuild a leader from the butt down. Um, I like having a nice fresh tapered leader. So, And I've got other stuff in there. I've got lip balm and fly floating, a little bit of split shot, uh, some yarn for indicators. Uh, but more than anything, I've just got a really nice system for how my boxes stack in there. And uh, it just keeps me really organized, and I feel like I'm really well prepared uh, to just be kind of spontaneous. I know that I can pretty much just grab this bag and, and go fish uh, anywhere and everywhere uh, at a moment's notice. So that's my kit bag for, for this year, 2023, and kind of how I have it set up with the fly boxes.